What's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video. Today is a very special. I don't even know if you tonight. call it a podcast. Man. You say tonight. 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 It's a very special uh, video brought by uh, Alex Science, 22 year old real estate entrepreneur. And uh, along my side. Yes, your guy, Elijah I, the fire damage king. My name is Adrian Salgado, uh, sales director at National Cash Offer, um, and all around just a really nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Super right. solid. Uh, my name is Andy Garcia, a 22 year old entrepreneur. Uh, also known as the Wolf of Closing. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Half of the sales Woo! force. Hey, Born hey, closer. Let's, let's go. Let's so go. as you guys can money. see, we have our uh, our water here. And, water. Uh, no, actually, so I'm going to be completely honest. This, uh, we want to do this interview style where it's very free-flowing, mm -hmm. very just natural, and we're going to call this Drinks and Deals. Yeah. Or deal, actually, Deals, deals, over, deals over, drinks. over Drinks. Deals, deals over Drinks. Deals over Let's Drinks. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a real estate. Uh, we're going to try to do this uh, consistently, but it's going to be a uh, you know just a, a time where we can come, collaborate, talk deals over drinks. And Let's you know what's go. crazy? I think people can actually learn from this. Yeah, right? oh, absolutely. Because the deals that we're going to be talking about, let's be honest, we possibly did everything possible to make that deal happen. Right? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that's how you guys are going to overcome these like strange situations that you find yourself into. Um, you know, this is definitely going to help some people out. Yeah, and I think uh, real estate's a fun, fun industry. You know, if you're if you've watched uh, you know some of my past YouTube videos or some of Elijah's content or Adrian's or the Wolf of Closing here, like you know, it's it's it, it is a, it, it is a lot of practical information that we put out there. But at the same time, being in real estate has been such a fun journey and has allowed us to be in some situations <laughs> where you just like you guys are already laughing, yeah. you know, but <laughs> crazy. Like there's some crazy situations that happen in the real estate space, and they I don't think they get talked about. You know, that you you see the checks, but you don't see the all the the, the prior things that you had to do to get that check, right? Exactly. Yeah, so don't don't you can't overlook the sales process. I mean, if you're in real estate specifically, you know half the half the battle is closing the closing your sellers, closing your prospects because it's not just about marketing. You could be a you know marketing genius, but if you're not able to convert on those deals, then you know none of this matters. Now, with that said, you know we've closed so many deals over. You know, the last few years yeah. that we've come across some pretty crazy, you know, awesome, crazy stories. Crazy awesome, awesome, crazy stories. We're ready to yeah. share some more stories with you yeah. guys. Yeah, and one of the things I think was crazy about this, what is going to make this so valuable to people watching as well for us, being able to relive, relive those stories and what happens yeah. in those stories, not only does it make it fun, but super edutaining. And when you go back and tell the story, like, remember I got this lady, she had the one eye, and she couldn't, and she, and she kept, like, yeah. keep sticking out. You had a big deal, see? <laughs> so having those deals and what it does for you, watch it, it brings it to life. We get to really relive it. And then if you ever catch yourself in the same situation like that, oh, you're going to think of, of watching this right here, laughing with us, living it again with us, and you're going to know what to do because you see what we did with the deals. Yeah. So with that said, let's take the, the next, uh, like, two, three minutes to explain quickly who we are for somebody new watching this video. Uh, I'll start with myself. Please do. So, guys, uh, my name is Alex Signs uh, here in Phoenix, sunny Arizona. And I uh, started real estate at the age of 18, fresh out of high school. Did not have any idea uh, what I wanted to do when I graduated high school. Fell into real estate. Took me nine long months to get my first deal. Over those nine months, it was, I mean, it, they, were, they were painful, painful months of learning and trial and error. Uh, but after nine months, I got my first real estate deal and was able to take that one deal and go out and recreate. I mean, by now, uh, I mean, well over 200 deals now in the last four, uh, last three and a half years. So now I'm 22. Uh, we run, I myself with Andy Garcia run a company called Offer Home here in Phoenix. We're all over the West Coast where we wholesale deals, we flip properties, and we do all the above when it comes to the real estate space. So that's who I am. Uh, started with nothing at 18 and uh, still, still building, not nowhere near done yet. And uh, by the way, that is spiked. It's not your normal. It's not your normal. It's not your grandma's lemonade. <laughs> it's not grandma's lemonade. <laughs> but uh, uh, but here we are, and, and that's who I am. And uh, you know, my mission on this channel, although uh, you know the momentum's picking up, uh, my mission is just to provide information where you can go out and recreate the same for yourself, right? Because there is a lot of information out there, and. You know, I just want to bring more to light in a practical way that you can get results for yourself so you can change your current situation or, uh, you know, whatever situation that you're in. So here we are. And I uh, hope you guys find this video or this interview very, very valuable. Um, okay. Right. And I, I alongside uh, my brother, Alex Sainz, um, uh, my name is Andy Garcia. Again, the wolf of closing uh, over the last three and a half years, I 
you know, to keep it short and simple, I have been a six figure closer consistently making sure that, you know, I alone lock up, you know, six figures plus every single month for our company and revenue. And, you know, with that said, I am a, you know, I'm passionate about sales and that's what we're here to talk about, you know, sales specifically. So that, Edu- that I, li- I like how, uh, yeah, he's a man. He's a man. Follow him. Yeah, for sure. For <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For but, sure. Light stunt. Light stunt. Li- <laughs> no, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he's he's a humble beast. Has closed well over a hundred deals by himself on the dolo. So, so make sure you listen to what he has to hear on this podcast because we are going to be dropping some gems all throughout here. Uh, but I like I like how earlier you said uh, edu- edutainment. Yeah, edutainment. Edutainment mm-hmm. because. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, like most of uh, my videos are like practical, do this, one, two, three, here's some knowledge, go out and do it. But there has to be some fun to it. Like yeah. like the, the the journey in real estate, there has to be some fun to it. And there is a lot of fun to it. And I can't wait to go into some stories here shortly. Oh, so want to so, give him what yeah, you want? Yeah, I'll introduce myself. Adrian Salgado, um, sales director, once again, a national cash offer. Along with myself, I mean, me and Andy have kind of been through this journey um, from day one, literally. We, we we switched our mindset to completely different ages. I'm 34 right now, and I just got this wild hair up my ass to quit my full-time job. And, what, what color hair? Uh, oh, <laughs> wolf, wolf color? <laughs> Gray wolf <laughs> color? <laughs> Gray wolf color? And I decided to quit a job and, and pursue this, this uh, lifestyle in real estate because that's what it is. It's a lifestyle. We eat, we breathe, we sleep this stuff, right? Every day we wake up and it's oh, like, yeah. how much is my house worth? How much can I get a house for today? You know, mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah, you know, one thing. How, it, where can I buy another house? For you sure. Know, one thing. Yeah, one thing for somebody like that is looking to get into real estate or making that transition right now, you got to realize that it is a twenty four seven lifestyle. Like uh, you got to eat, say breathe, twenty five shit, twenty five eight. Mm-hmm. Like, like twenty five eight. eight. Yeah. It really is, and uh, and that's the difference between making it and not making it. In my opinion, you got to You got to sure. You got to just be super just in and committed to the game. Well, most of you guys are um, scrolling through Instagram on the toilet every morning. We might be locking up a deal <laughs> yeah. at the same time right. on the same, same on a different dog. toilet. Yeah, same I mean, Adrian, 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 uh, Adrian locks up deals when he's half asleep. He just wakes up. He's in, a, in his underwear and he's closing, closing deals. deals. <laughs> ready to go. That's why we're here, right? Exactly. So, so uh, closes, closes. introduce yourself. Let's yes. get into why we're here. Yes. So like, as we mentioned before, it's your guy, Elijah I. Rubin. Mm-hmm. Um, myself, I started out at a, as a very young, Alex, well, but actually, when I was 21 years old. When I was 21 years old, started when I was 21, and now I'm 36 years old. So 15 years later, I've literally done every type of real got, estate transactions out got there. The old man on this, you side. know what I'm saying? We got the senior, we got the senior, uh, senior, <laughs> senior citizen on this side. You know, we got, we, got, <laughs> we want to balance, want to balance it out. You, you know, um, I mean, fast forward, I probably easy done over. 750 deals over 250 million dollars worth of real estate transactions. And I'm not saying that to impress you guys, but more to press upon you that if you stick with this and you enjoy and you embody and you live it every day, that's right. Not only could it create a way for you, yourself, your family, but these are walking results in front of you of what happens when you operate with intentional purpose and you close consistently. Mm-hmm. Five years ago, I stumbled into unbelievable niche of picking up fire damaged properties. And figured out how to make three checks on one opportunity versus just making one check on one on one house, one property, and so uh, I've, I've been able to be called the fire damage king, you know. And at, at the end of the day, I think it's so important when you guys get a chance to see how to look at deals, take the different approaches. You're gonna see some crazy stories, how we approach it, how you deal with it. You're gonna learn. Yes, marketing is important, as uh, as Andy mentioned. You don't get me wrong, but if you close, is one option. But you're gonna see from these different stories. Being a solution engineer, and that's why I feel like we really all are. We solve problems, and the more problems you solve, yep. and the more troubleshooting your critical thinking abilities is going to be one of the most underrated uh, commodities you could create for yourself to think through a problem. You're going to see these problems that most people will overlook. How we overcame these problems, got the deal done, and have the war stories to tell about it. So, what you guys think? You guys ready to get into some of these deals? Let's, Let's go. go. Let's get it. Let's Who's go. first? Who's first up? Hey, 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 why don't you start? Why don't you kick it off for us, Alex? Kick it Wait, off so, for us. So we had uh, we had we a had little a format. Things. We have a little, a little format, format for you. All right. So why don't you why don't you start off with um, a simple one here for us? Why don't you start off with one of the what's one? Oh, you know what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what we're supposed to start off? What do you think? What is one of your USPs? Your unique selling proposition? What do you think? What your superpowers are? We all just give one of our superpowers. <clears throat> in in general, or 
at a certain at a I'll certain say, deal. I'll, I'll say within in uh, let's just say in general overall, just so they can start thinking about what their USP is in because it's, it's going to show up in your deal. We talk about my. It. Uh, I think my my unique selling proposition for me personally is my ability to uh, to come to embody or mimic that seller like their their pain points to be able to relate instantly to be a chameleon whether the seller is is going through financial issues being able to relate and drop myself to that to that level where they feel they feel that mutual pain so so, so you're, you're able to create direct connection with them direct connection on any on any level kind of like the avatar stuff yes and it's like <laughs> i think and i think that's one of my like things mm-hmm. like i i can uh I, i'm a good listener and i i can i can you know create i can direct that 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 dialogue to get them to where I need to get them, which is you know closing deals. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yo, make some noise for that guy. Yes, Let's okay, go. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. But now, AD. now taking over. So, what makes me a unique closer? For me, I think just you know I have an unofficial PhD in psychology. I feel like, like okay. at this point, I've <laughs> okay. been, you know, I've been, I've been closing. I've been closing. You know, so many sellers, done so many deals that at this point, like I'm just able to break down the conversation and the sellers so well that I know what their emotions are. I, know, I feel like I can identify their needs, whether they want to tell me or not, mm-hmm. and I can just really you're, uh, dissect uh the situation and that just that just like puts a, me you're ahead. like you're like a deal surgeon yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice so, so, that, deal so that's surgeon. what i feel makes me unique uh and and i'm yeah. relentless also like that's i'll you. just outwork anybody so your relentless ability and your ability to really be a deal surgeon really kind of solve get with them and kind of yeah. connect with them i feel like for me it's like more of the emotional no like i break emotional. down i'll break i'll break you down you'll break down yeah. like whatever yeah. personality trait they're working with you'll break that personality definitely. trait definitely definitely and because you're relentless i mean i get them to feel like i'm i'm on their side uh, and mm-hmm. that's something i'm really good at right. and uh, i feel like you're on my side right now which, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no and, and the truth is i do <laughs> and the truth is you you are on their side right. yeah. like like exactly yeah. i i think i believe in real estate if you want to make it consistent you have to really care for that seller. Oh, right. sure. and, and then empathy, I think, I, I, yeah. but I've also identified like over time that sales is sales. Like you have to do what you have to do in order to close your prospect. Like everybody you talk to, you know whether they whether they end up whether they end up being like a, a small yeah. deal or a, a bigger size deal. Like you know they're put in yeah. front of you and you have to close them at whatever cost it is. It's either right you closing and it's, them and it's on selling company's... their house or them closing you <laughs> on why they're not selling like, their house. Yeah, right, exactly. And it's and it's and you know the way I look at it honestly like when I'm getting great deals I know I'm getting great deals right and you know I'm letting them know like this is as much as I can do even though it's a great deal like inside like I feel like it's it's you know this is for me and mine it's like me and mine over Nice. So that's just the way okay. I feel. You know? That's that's nice. I'm my wolf of closing stuff. Hey, <laughs> what about you, Adrian? Uh, so it's interesting. You know, two people already went two completely different closing strategies, or mm-hmm. or unique, superhero. Yeah, super, superhero power, selling propositions. Right? Uh huh. Yeah, and every every superhero is different, right? Mm-hmm. And so in my case, I have the ability to have that instant icebreaker. Right. Mm. Yeah, for sure. And, and it kind of dictates. It kind of. It doesn't matter what type of personality I get over the phone. Nice. I can get a red personality and const- and just instantly turn them into like a green personality. Where it's like, okay, it's a little bit funny. This is not so much business. And then also, uh, I'm just a very witty person, so that allows me to be very very quick on rebuttals. Mm-hmm. Right. You say something, I'm, I'm already before you even finish your sentence, yeah. I'm already telling you like how we're gonna solve that problem. Yeah. Your your improv game is remarkable. Is, yeah. and, remarkable. remarkable. Which is interesting enough. I wanted to be a stand up oh, comedian oh, yeah. now, ever yeah. since I was a little kid. Now, now you can hire a couple to come on and, and make you laugh whenever you want. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Look so, at hey. 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 so that's I, I mean that I feel like that's my superpower, you know, the ability to build the, the, the instant icebreaker mm-hmm. and then uh to be ready to be able to solve these problems just on the fly. I like that. That's just right. disarm so, anybody. You disarm, disarm anybody. anybody. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's right. That's super important. Like I, I kind of alluded to it at the beginning when I, I was saying a couple of pieces. I think my unique selling proposition, my God given gift is I, I have a, I mean, I'll really say my critical thinking ability. I could think through so many different hurdles and I know how to solve the pieces. Okay. We cut this. We add that here. We put that here. We bring this here. We call that person. We get that set up get it all done i could create yeah. very strategic plans when they don't think there's a way i could yeah. find a way and then my ability to like like what andy says my ability to take seven no's without flinching i could i mean yeah, i don't yeah. even, i mean hear the first no until the seventh no you know so that <laughs> without even losing any enthusiasm i just don't accept i mean no a failure to say talk no. about the importance of taking no's right like mm-hmm. if you're not able to take no's 
Yeah. On a constant basis. Then you're not, oh. then you're not worthy yeah, of go back to Chase. Chase is yes. looking for hires, all right? <laughs> you're not going to survive in real estate. You can't take multiple no's. Exactly. See, exactly. So, if you so. can't take no's, you don't qualify for the yeses. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that's fire. That's fire. Yeah, I, like that. I like that. All right. So let's get in. So let's get into one of these here. So let's uh, let's talk about one of your um one of your craziest deals. Let's get right to one of the craziest deals. I'll go. I'll, I'll go last. Okay. I, okay. I got mine. Okay. I got mine. I'll jump in first. Okay. All right. Sure, go ahead. Hop in. Tell us. Earlier this year, actually, yeah. 20, oh. 2019, crazy, mm -hmm. crazy year. What happened? Uh, I ruptured my Achilles. It's, this is where it starts, right? Oh, okay. God. <laughs> Take it back. I remember the day. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, we we, we uh, defeated some some realtors in a in a flag football in a, game. No, in a very competitive a very, flag football very game. Very competitive Let's flag get that football right. game. Um, <laughs> in the process, in the championship game, I actually ruptured my Achilles tendon, right? Yeah. We still won. We still won. We hey, still victory, won. Victory. We still won. I ruptured my Achilles. Went into surgery, it was like February 5th or something, February 1st. Uh, that was a Friday. And then came back to work on a Monday. During that process, I ended up landing a deal. This guy, it was a mailer. Lead source was a mailer. The guy, the guy contacted us. We reached out to him. He didn't respond. And then he got hit by a drip campaign. And he responded to an email. So then I called him. And it was a late night, you know. Mm -hmm. I stayed like 6, 7 o'clock. And I gave him a call and he happened to answer it. One shot, one kill. Mm. One phone call type deal. Right? Let's yeah. go. That doesn't happen often. One, that, one for the it don't best. happen often, but when it does, well, it feels really good. Well, it doesn't happen often in general, mm -hmm. but surprisingly with these two guys, it happens pretty frequently. Hey, that's what happens. Yeah. Hey, miracle territory. <laughs> like, yeah. Miracle yeah. territory. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like once you get to a certain level of understanding how to close, it, it becomes pretty frequent, I, and I see it over and over. And, it, and it's 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 a major, majority of it is with, like, an inbound lead, right? Yeah. You know, an inbound lead. Somebody wants to sell their property, and they don't know what they Shout want out to marketing. Them. Shout out to marketing. <laughs> Sponsored by Medicaid. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> but, so, uh, landed this deal, right? Uh -huh. Got on the phone with the guy, negotiating with him, found out the situation. Yeah. Um, he had his grandfather left him this property, and his dad moved into it. Okay. Okay, and in the process, the dad was like, "Hey, I'm gonna watch after our grand your grandfather until he passes away." So they live together. Grandfather passes away, leaves it to the grandson, and the dad ends up staying in the property. Beautiful property, and he started to want to renovate the property himself, pulling carpet out, this and that. So the guy calls me, and he's like, "Hey, I've been wanting to sell this property for so long. My dad doesn't want to leave the property." You know, uh, he's a POS. Like, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't pay This anything. is a son. This, this is, is a son. son. Talking about pops. Talking yeah. about pops. He doesn't yeah. do anything. You know, I, I run my business. I have my own thing going. This is this property's mine, and he can't. He won't get out. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. So I started talking to him. And the ARV was like 400 And I, you know, I asked him initially in the beginning of the conversation, how much were you looking to get? He was like, well, I just want to get as much as possible. Oh, of course. Everybody tells you that in the beginning. Sure. So then you start, you know, building the rapport, talking about what he does, how selling this house is going to benefit him. He said, hey, look, you know, I'm going to have to buy this property side unseen, right? I'm going to have to evict your dad, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have to just cash you out, you know? There has to be a price in mind that you were expecting somebody to take this Take this, headache, headaches, right. take away, this yeah. headache away from you. Because mm -hmm. real, real quick, pause. Sure, and I don't want to interrupt. Sure, but, no, sure. you're good. But it's really important that people hear this because it's not so much. It wasn't so much about the property. It wasn't so much about real estate. It was about. It was about the problems. The problems. Right. It was about the problems. Write that down, guys. It's it was, not. Most of the time, it's not about. The actual real estate. Mm -hmm. It's about the situation at hand and the problems at hand and your ability right. to fix solve that them. and solve them and relieve that problem or stress away from their life. People value convenience and peace over any type Ooh. of physical property. Ooh. That's why we order Uber. Yeah, solution yeah. engineering. That's solution why, engineering. That's why we order Uber Eats. You it know? solves our problems. It makes solves life our simple. Problem. It makes life simple. Hit the right? easy button. Yeah. Boom. Anyways, continue. And Boom. so that's Next. what I did. I offered him an opportunity to make his life easy. But how much would that cost? Now, how much, how much would he? Ex actually, how much would you charge me to do that for you? Oh. Is what I is mm. basically what I was telling. So him. what did he hit you back with? So he was like, I was looking to get in the mid hundred thousands. I said, okay, four hundred thousand dollar ARV. Whoa, mid hundred. <laughs> so this is where 
you know, you have to have that ice cold. Yeah, right. Blood. For sure. Don't act too high. Don't be too high. That's the mamba blood. That's the mamba blood. You can't just go be like, oh, yeah, mid 100,000, 150,000, let's make a deal. Like, wait, 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 what happened? You know, seller's going to freak out. Like, why are you so excited? Why are you so excited? Am I under selling my property? Yeah. So I told him, okay, hundred, you know, mid hundreds. I was like, you know, so like one hundred and fifty thousand. Is that what you're looking for? I was thinking like one hundred and seventy thousand. I said, okay, well, I mean, there's a lot of risk in here. If I'm able to do that one hundred and seventy thousand for you tonight, is this something we can get started today? And he said, yeah, if we can do one hundred and seventy tonight, let's go ahead and go. Let's get started. I said, okay. I said, what? I don't even know about this property. When was the last time you saw the property? It's like I have it. My dad doesn't let me in the house. I said, okay. Wow. So you don't yeah, know the condition this, of the this property. This is your crib. I said, you don't know the condition of the property. He said, no, I don't. Okay. So your dad knows the condition. So I'm really in danger. And I let him know this. You know, this is a very big risk for me. You know, I don't know what the house looks like. Give me a quick second. Put him on pause. All right. Mm-hmm. Put him on mute. And I kind of did a lap around the office. Mm-hmm. I knew this is a deal, right? right. He's like, That's a victory lap. <laughs> it's, a big, it's a victory lap, right? It's like, like, da, da. You got to get that emotion, right? right? Four hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Uh, yeah, one seventy. Yeah, one seventy. He's asking one seventy. Yeah, like thirty-four percent LTV or something. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I said, okay, like jump back on the phone. And actually, virtual wholesaling. The beauty of virtual wholesaling, right? I drew up a purchase agreement. And then I said, what's your email address? He gave me his email address. I said, okay. I filled it in. Boom. Sent it over. I said, all right, look. DocuSign, guys, by DocuSign. the way. DocuSign. Yeah, DocuSign. Right? I said, this is the way. The technology. I said, look, I'm going to do the 170000 This is all I ask from you. How can I get into the property? Yeah. Right? And he told me, I have, an, I have a way of getting into the property. I said, okay. Because in wholesaling, right, if you're not, if you're not buying the property, cashing it out, you're wholesaling it, and yeah. in our line of business, visuals of inside the property are key. You have to know what you're buying. You have to know what you're buying. What's the condition? What's the condition? So yeah. that was our initial thought. We're going to wholesale this, right? Mm-hmm. And so he was like, "I have a way," and I said, "Okay." I said, "Let's go over the agreement real quick." Walk him through the agreement. All right, everything looks good. Yeah. Okay. Click here, here, and here. It's going to be three initials, a signature, and we're good to go. Don't don't uh, don't sign up for the uh, DocuSign account. Okay, cool. And so he hit it, hit it, hit it. I was like, boom. So we started talking again. And mind you, this was like a 45-minute conversation initially to lock up the deal. Yeah. And then now I'm, I'm going to spend another 30 minutes on the phone with the guy. Just the cool down. The it was cool a 30-minute yeah. cool down. Yeah. Right? Because you want to make okay. sure Wait. he doesn't yeah, have yeah, 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 yeah. You got to unpack that. You got to unpack it. Yeah. Well, look what my man did. He talked through the situation. He figured out what the solution was. He felt, felt what the pain was. Offered the solution. Then... It's like, then ask him, hey, let's talk about a contract. Do you need a prayer about it? No. Assume the sell, sent the contract, walk him to click here, click here, by, click here. By you telling him to click here, click here, you're not asking him. Not asking. You're, you're, directing, you're, telling, you're, you're directing. Go right, go left. Traffic goes left today. Yeah. Well, that's right, you're right. And so, as, uh, <laughs> so as I'm happening, he was able to tell them what to do and what's going to happen next. And what that does evokes confidence. This ain't your first rodeo. This ain't my first rodeo. How, how walking through. You're a tour guy. You're not a travel agent. Yeah. You're a tour guy. You tell yeah. me exactly. I got wisdom you, in this. Wisdom guy. in this. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so go ahead. Go ahead. So Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, hey, play. So, so I start talking to What's him. What's a cool down? But you just jumped in the cool down. What's a, what is a cool down? So the cool down, I, I start talking to him. First yeah. of all, right after right after he's done signing the, pro, the, the document, I tell him what to expect for the next, you know, one to two weeks. Set of expectations. Set of expectations, okay. you know. This person, this person, this person's going to call you. Oh, shout out, Los. What up, Los? No, 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 actually, no, come, come, come here. You want to say hi to the audience? Say hi. Say hi. You got a deal? Come and say hi. Say hi. You done a deal or two, right? Because let's be I've honest. Done deals or let's something. be honest. Everything <laughs> I learned, <laughs> everything I've learned, Came guys, by the guy. way, for those watching on YouTube, Carlos Reyes is in the building. Carlos Reyes is in the building. He's in the building. The, the, the deals over, deals yeah. over drinks, deals over drinks. No, deals, I'm deals not. Over, we're, I have Uber. We're getting, you know, deals some lo- some vodka and uh, minute made. All, shout out to all the closers out there. Hey, hey. hey. let's go. Right. Talking about closers closers only. Closers only. Closers only alumni. All I want to say is, close or starve. Close or star. Close or star. Close or star. Are you star? Are you star? Yes. Hell yeah. Yeah. Kill yeah. when you eat, baby. Come, uh, yeah. Freedom tomorrow. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw. I, 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 I heard I you told crushing. Them, yeah. I heard you I'm crushing. 45. I'm bro. I'm saying it right now on YouTube. Shutting it down. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna fucking yeah. bring the heat. Like I'm gonna be the best speaker in, in the entire 
event tomorrow. You'll see. Let's go. Of course. Bring bring that heat. There's no doubt in this room. I say. God, watch tomorrow. Bring that heat. Going to bring the heat. Are you coming? Yeah. yeah. Where is it at? Westgate? This is a dream for me. This is a dream for me. This is where it all started. Guys, so by the way. So oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they can hear but all right. So four years ago, Mr. Carlos Reyes attended an event by Mr. Sean. Sean Terry. I was oh, there. This, look, look how no. impactful this was. Because you two were, attended the event. And that same day, and we, me and, and him and we tagged attended along. the dinner after the event. We're like gum in your shoes. Oh, yeah. I remember the Mastro's dinner. So we went to <laughs> a, okay. This is how. <laughs> hey hey hey! You don't like me. Hey, 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 hey so, so this is how an introvert. This is how it started. First of all, we weren't like we didn't just magically pop up out of nowhere. We went to an event just like maybe you did, and we uh, we went to Mr. Sean Terry's event, which is literally one of the pioneers in wholesaling. In the whole Sun space, in my opinion, one of the best. Um, he has a great YouTube channel, by the way. Um, Sean Terry, Flip Two Freedom, and uh, we all attended an event. I mean, I remember that event. I could bear. I actually brought uh, Andy and Eric, and I and it was like it was a six hundred dollar investment, and it was a pricey investment. Was Andy wearing sandals? Absolutely, was wearing sandals. The year, the year before that, <laughs> breaking stocks. The, the year before that, I couldn't afford a Flip Two Freedom ticket. That's crazy. I couldn't. I couldn't afford it. it was like, wait, you went to the event? I didn't know. No, I, they were one ninety seven. I, I couldn't afford I a ticket. Event. You went to the event? Yeah. yeah. That's and, amazing. And now, well, tomorrow, now look, we're showing up full circle as conquerors. Yeah. Let's go <laughs> to the <laughs> victor goes <laughs> the spoils. All in, yo, all in always yo, crashes yo, you, the party. Yo, you got fish to show. You got fish. All right, he's just in All in always crashes Hey guys, so so make sure you guys check out my guy. All right, Carlos Reyes. He's gonna be. Not only you go towards uh-huh. the stage, I can't wait. But you bring him back full circle, and a lot of people you look up to now looking up to you. I've been getting, thank God. Thank Let's God. go. Let's I mean, go. I mean, how, I mean, how does that feel? How does that feel? Honestly, uh, I'm in a, I'm such in a great place right now, like mentally, spiritually, that a lot of that stuff is gone. Like, um, you know, yeah, status. yeah, man. Like, <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't worry about, you know, like competition. Who's doing this? Who's doing that? And like, for That's, me, I'm just yeah. trying. To, it's all love from for me. Like it's all love, you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to just achieve a higher level of myself. (laughs) Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. uh, Ended all the beef with all the other gurus, so no more beef, no more guru beef. For the most part. (laughs) <laughs> they want to hear it for the beef, most part beef is, only, beef is only uh, beef is only good when you're yeah. selling burgers yeah, yeah, yeah. beef is only good when you're in the burger business yeah, let's go, go. I, 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 lo- I love that I love that I love that so yeah thank you brother so yeah no you're right for the most part I'm ending most guru oh. beefs most um, <laughs> you know what because you know what because you know what like my spiritual mentor tells me said Carlos you only have control over two things your actions and your attitude. Mm. I don't have control. Of, I don't like have that. control over the up. these people that are out there frauding, no. lying to the people. Mm-hmm. Bro, God has His own way of taking care of those things. Yeah. I should not yeah. have to take. I I used to always be the guy. Like even growing up, this is why it was such a bad habit. Like if someone was getting picked on, that was of lesser power, right? I would always be the guy to protect. You know, because I was always this size. In ninth grade, I was this size. <laughs> I weighed two twenty in ninth grade. I wore a size thirteen, which I still do. In eighth grade, people wow, used same. to make that's crazy. Bro, it yeah, was crazy. Tony, Tony, yeah, the Tony Robbins. Bro, I used to have the sh- <laughs> I used to have the shacks. Heads, you know, the ones yeah. with the like with the the Reeboks the with the circle. circle yeah. yeah, and people were a bit like, wow, you know. Are we on here, middle camera? Here comes yep. Bigfoot. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, it was crazy, right? Uh, my friends used to make fun of me, like, "Hey, man, do you sleep standing up?" Like, you know, back. <laughs> No, I swear, I, I swear, bro, bro. Today I went to try to buy shoes at Nordstrom, no 13s. At Boss, no 13s. You know what I mean? So it was crazy. It was crazy. But anyway, um, growing up, you know, like I always felt that way. Like I always felt like if some, like, bro, most of the fights that I ever been involved in. It wasn't even me. I was just looking out for somebody else. Like the Fetty Wap dude in Hollywood. You know what I mean? Remember that? <laughs> yeah, Fetty Wap. Yeah. Uh, he, so, so that dude was kind of snapping on you. Right. You were just trying exactly. to play. And then when he snapped oh, on you, yeah, you yeah, yeah, my instinct that. took over. You yeah, know, my exactly. instinct took over right oh, away. I remember. In the club. Yeah. L.A. In L.A. Bro, like he was like yeah. he was like, hey, bro, everything is all good and what, blah blah blah, and that's when I just popped up too. I'm like, oh, hey, bro, what what's going on? You know. Anyway, 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 we're past that. Alleged, we're, alleged, 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 alleged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, as you guys can see, this video got real, real, real crazy, real quick. We'll get but him back. We'll, get him back. we'll, we'll get him back. uh, what do they call sober thoughts? What do they say? Build, uh, drunk words or sober thoughts? Drunk words or sober thoughts? Soft. They say. Soft. But anyway, uh, it's all peace, love, harmony for me. It's all about growth. 
on my knows? behalf. I'm, hey, you're about to get married. We're, sir, we're about to get married. I'm a, I'm a dad. Uh, we're servants of God. You know, we're servants of God. We're servant of the people. Got, got a we, coming up? we love the people. Uh, God always has his way of taking care of us. It always happens for us, right? Um, we, we've gone full circle here in the past three and a half years, man, you know? And so and, and running. tomorrow, tomorrow, this means a lot to me. Big and I just awesome. think, yeah, yeah uh, awesome. keep in mind, like, you know, I just went to Cancun to speak at an event there. Mm-hmm. Right. And I thought that was like a big thing. I was like, wow, this is beautiful. You know, I would never think I would go out of the country to speak at an event. But this means a lot to me. Mm-hmm. Right. Because it's a mo- It's like, you know, I, I was there you less were, than you four were years in the back ago. of the room. It's a complete, uh, a complete, it's a full circle, yeah. right? Complete 180. No, 180. No. They say 180. Either way. They say 180, right? Come, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Around this, this is the 180. Right? Around the circle, new circle. Okay. So tomorrow, like that. that's why I'm like, you know what? Like I worked on, um, you know, I know you sent uh, Brittany some power, PowerPoint stuff. And then I put like, I, I completely put my own <laughs> yeah, touch thanks, on it. Bro. Did, you hear about, did you hear about it? Uh, briefly. Yeah, you, yeah, got, briefly. you got white label. No, 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 no. It's been it's happening a lot. It's because, cool, that swagger, so I, I love it. Like I love, and tomorrow you're going to see, you know, what's, what yeah, belongs, yeah, yeah. what I'm belongs excited. to the all in sales force. And, yeah. you know, I wish like, I wish I can even, like I was even telling Alex, I'm like, bro, I want to bring the guys up there. Like, oh, I don't know, bro. He was telling me, I don't know if I should. Bro, I'm, I'm I'm like that. Like I, I don't I don't right. need the spotlight, bro. I, mean, I don't need the spotlight. I get it, but you know what? You know what? Facts. Leaders, right? <laughs> leaders, we don't need we don't need the spotlight. Like leaders true servants and leaders, we don't need we don't need to be the guys that are like, Yo, I hear look that. at me, look at me. You know, like no, hey, look at my like, people. Uh, you know I what I mean? I feel you, but there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of our people going to be on that stage. And you're representing a different segment and a new generation that now you didn't get this opportunity. They didn't get yeah. this access. So I think you're this going is a big deal to me. And holding it down. This is a huge deal. You think about it, right? If they wanted you us, got, they would have picked this. You got Dean you got you got you got Dean Graziosi. Dean Graziosi. Okay with that. Dean Graziosi spoke today. Uh-huh. Um I'm speaking tomorrow. Okay. Max Maxwell speaking Sunday. Okay. And uh, and then you got uh, the big Kahuna speaking Sunday too, right? They got me right after lunch, right after lunch uh, tomorrow, one forty-five. Oh yeah. And I've been getting a lot of like DMs. There's a lot of people that we know from our community that are there. Nice. So I can't. That's why I'm like, like dudes are like, hey bro, they're they're preparing a stage for you. Like I'm getting DMs and things like, what? No, they're not. Like you know, I'm like, what? Is this guy serious, right? And they're like, no, no. They and I'm like, he's like, no, bro. I'm just saying, I know you're gonna come in here and kill it. And now I have an obligation to represent for the All In Nation. What's up? All In. What's up? What's I gotta represent tomorrow, baby. Right. Watch, I'm gonna, gonna bring it. With the heat. bring it. I'm gonna bring it. All I'm gonna bring it. Real Rolling quick, up. real quick. Let's, uh, for those that don't know who you are, where can they follow you? Official Carlos Reyes on YouTube. Official Carlos Reyes on Instagram. Um, I'm yeah. very, very busy on IG. Like I try to drop as much as I can. I, I've been going on lives like crazy lately. It's been crazy, right? Uh, that's that's cool, you know. Uh, going on live, that's always good because I, we, bro, we're we're on live. We're we're driving in this Bentley today, and we're just going on live with like My random. Son was on some there. we went on live with uh uh, uh eight um uh, Pennywise Pennywise, and he did a headstand, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, I, we went on live with some fifteen year old entrepreneur from where Denmark Denmark. Yeah. Anyways, so that was cool. But yeah, serving the Official people. Official Carlos Reyes, serving the people, him. baby. And yeah. uh, you won't be disappointed. All in sales force, 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 force. force, force, force. force. <laughs> Fill the force. Fill the force. All, All right, guys. I, I think I'm going to get home. Yo, can you bring my hookah, please? All, All right. And get back to what we're doing. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. All right. Kelly. Much love, brother. That's it. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, guys, sir. so the point, the point of this video is, 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 really, is very real. Later, brother. Very real. Very, very real. Deals. Freaking no agenda. Just straight, just off the dome. And uh, we want to make it like that, so... Okay, so so Let's back to the deal. So, so back to the deal. So you was at the deal. Rewind. You got the contract signed. Got you the did contract. the cool down period. I'm, I'm at the cool down period. All right, bam, I got all you right, back right. on. And, and my man tells me he knows how I can get in. How are you gonna get in that property? You gotta see the property. Okay, so just just to okay, bring it back. Recap, to recapping it. Deep breath. <sighs> out. Okay. All right. So <laughs> all right, rewind. Okay, so you get you get the deal. Uh, one hundred eighty thousand. One seventy. Property or well, one seventy. One seventy. I mean one seventy. Property worth four hundred. Four hundred thousand. Yeah, I'm sitting inside. He signs a contract. You walk him through DocuSign.com, virtual mm-hmm. f- virtual wholesaling, right. and then the cool down happens. Where do, where does this go? And then the cool down happens. We talk a little bit of bo- a little bit more about what he does for a living, right? 
and uh, he powder coats for him. So I said, hey, I scratched my rim the other day. Maybe after this, we can get some business done. Oh, man. Oh, he, oh, so, you, so you got additional yeah. relationship so after this. Relationship. Let's go. Right? Connection, okay? And then so I said, look, I'm going to want to get into this property. So is it possible maybe you can get into the property and get me some pictures of it? Because virtual wholesaling, yeah, that's yeah. all I need. He said, all right, I'll try. I said, okay. He tries for two days. He said, hey, my dad doesn't let me into the property by any means. He doesn't want me there. He threatened to call the cops on me. I said, his own dad. His own yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah. That's his, dad. his own property. His own dad. I was like, Sad oh, shit. Okay, well, I said, what's plan B? He goes, I have a plan B. I said, what is it? He tells me, my dad goes to McDonald's every single morning at 5 o'clock before they open. Damn, recognizance on That's him. It's called routine. Huh? <laughs> routine. <That's laughs> routine. routine. Every single day at 5 Woo. o'clock, uh-huh. he goes to the McDonald's down the street. He orders breakfast and he reads the newspaper. He's there for about an hour. I said, okay. It's around. It, it's a little bit in the fall, winter. Right? Oh, no, no. It was February. Yeah, was yeah, dark. yeah. I, I just so heard it yeah. my Achilles. And winter. Yeah. Okay. So I was like, okay, well... He goes, that's when we can get in. I said, you have a key? He said, yeah, I have a key. I said, all right, not a problem. Let's go ahead. You own the property. You have a key. Five to six o'clock. That's our window. Let's make it happen. I'm in a boot at the time. And a boot and a, and a scooter. Right? So you couldn't get around too well, Didn't you have a little bell? I had a bell on it. <laughs> I had a little bell. Shout the bell was, yo, that, the bell's that gangster. Bell. The bell's gangster. Yeah, the transaction coordinator bought me that bell. Bing, bing. Yeah. Ring, ring. <laughs> so I can transact my way around the hospital. <laughs> Trans- hey, okay. <laughs> so uh, they bought me. I'm in a scooter. I'm in a scooter, in a cast, right? So I can't walk this property. I got So I get Jaden involved, our, our dispo manager. Mm-hmm. And, you know, good friend. I said, Jaden, we got to go walk this property. He said, okay, what time? I said, we have to go between 5 and 6. He said, are you kidding me? I said, this is in the morning. This is in the morning. morning. So it's dark. It's dark. Yeah. He said, are you kidding me? I said, let's meet there at like 4.30. 4.30 <laughs> oh in the morning. Damn. So I'm like, okay. So he's like, okay. I said, do I bring my gun? He's like, I always have mine. <laughs> it's Arizona. Safe strap. It's Arizona. It's Arizona. Strap. Wild, strap. Wild, wild West. It's all right. Let's go. So me and Jaden, we meet probably a mile down the road from the McDonald's. He gets in my truck. And then we go to um, a little spot across the street from the McDonald's. And we're waiting there. And then the son meets us there. And then the son's like, okay, my dad's going to come here at 5 o'clock. Let's go wait down the street from He's like, okay. So we take off. We meet down the street, right across the like, It's like a couple houses away from the actual property that we're looking at. Yeah. We see his dad take off, and his dad goes to McDonald's. It's like, okay. Jaden gets off. I said, you got to go walk the property. Jaden gets off. He goes to start to walk the property. Um, I had my air. He had his AirPods in, and I had him on my phone. So you had the Mission Possible joint going Possible. on. All we right. had to walk the so again, I want to give. I want to give more context. Yeah. So the dad wasn't letting you guys walk the, the property. The dad was not letting us walk. The so property. you took. So every, you found out every morning he goes to McDonald's same time. So you took that time. Okay. So real quick, this us getting pictures of the property turns this from like a fifty k deal to a six figure deal. Easily. Wow. Easily. Right. Okay. So that's why we're we going to, to that's why we have to have these pictures, right? So Do you guys you know. serve uh, tenant notice to the uh, tenant? No. <laughs> <we're>, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he didn't do that's later on. Hey, later on, later on. Right, hey, no this worries. Is, this this is happening within like a three day span. We need to get like, in the property. Contract it's six weekend, figures. Monday morning. We're at this. Yeah, we need to get house inside. Four forty five. Okay. Yeah. So Jaden and that guy, they get down and they walk. They mm-hmm. walk to the house. Jaden's on the hair phone and then he's like Hey, your boy's uh, key's not working on the door. Oh, my God. I said, well, try the front door. He was like, he was like, try the front door. I said, okay. So they try the front door. He's like, it's not working. I said, oh. And then I can hear the guy in the background. My dad changed the locks. I was like, okay. So you don't have a key. Jada was like, he's going to keep, he's going to try the back door. So he tries the back door. There's an attic access from the carport. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. So there's an attic access from the carport. And I told Jaden. I was like, yo, he's not going to be able to get in. We'll just come in another time when he gets, like, the key that he, he, because he has a bunch of keys. He can't figure out which one is the right one. So I tell him, we'll just come back. He was like, hold on, hold on. He said he's going to do something. Grabs a ladder and then goes into the attic. And (laughs) so I'm in the truck, my cast on, and all my lights are off. I'm trying to see what's going on, looking in the rear view mirror. And he, Jaden's telling me, your guy disappeared in the attic. <laughs> what? This deal's getting weirder. <laughs> so, your, your guy disappeared in the attic. I said, what do you mean? He said, he's in the attic. He said, I don't know where he went. He's in the attic. 
I was like, okay. I, so we're just waiting there. And then he's like, he's doing something up there. And then all of a sudden, Jane was like, he's in the house. I said, how did he get in the house? I said, he said, I don't know. So he comes and opens the door. <laughs> And he gets in the house. So now you're in the house. So now J- now the house is open. Jane is like, all right, I said, hurry up, get pictures. So this is like 30 minutes of trying to get into right, the property. Right, figure it out. Five, 5 to 5.30, and the dad leaves the McDonald's at 6 o'clock, right? So 5 to 5.30, we just got in the house at 5.30. All right. Jaden started to walk the property, and he tells, he tells me, he was like, your guy... Broke through the ceiling to get into the house. He's gonna notice that. <laughs> he's gonna notice that. By the way, by the way, right, he broke gonna, into the ceiling. He fell through the ceiling and opened the door. <laughs> and I was like, oh, "This I is said, what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking." I said, oh, "You're gold." I said, "Oh shit." I said, "Okay." I said, "Hurry up, get the pictures." So he's walking the property, getting pictures. Drywall it's dark. on the floor. It's dark, right? So Jaden doesn't know. He's like, "I don't know how many rooms there are. I think I'm in the same room again." So we're in panic. <laughs> freaking out. Yeah, he's freaking out. We're in, we're in, we're in right. a panic. Right. I just fell through the roof. Ceiling. The drywall everywhere. There's drywall Dust everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> and he was like, "There's nothing in here. There's a lawn chair and a TV." And there's no carpet anywhere like that. So I'm like, holy shit. All right. I said, okay, so. The, and he was like, and your boy disappeared. I go, what do you mean he disappeared again? He was like, I don't know. I'm just taking pictures. And, and then Jaden looks out the house, and the guy's grabbing a bunch of tools from, like, the shed in the back. <laughs> so he's the robbing, back the, he's robbing, he's robbing his own dad. He's robbing his own pops. Throwing right. him in the back of the truck, right? <laughs> Throwing him in the back of the truck and getting all this stuff. Jaden's telling me, hey, the guy's taking a bunch of stuff, right? I said, just get the pictures. And then 545. So we got 15 minutes. Right. Are you almost done? He goes, I'm done taking pictures, but your guy's doing something. And I said, what is he doing? And he's like, oh, shit. He's trying to put the drywall back on the ceiling. <laughs> he's trying to do a quick oh patch job. My God. He, has a quick rehab. Dr- he has a drill, and he has some screws, and he's trying to patch the hole. Oh, I said, are guy. you kidding me? I said, right now? You guys got 15 minutes. <laughs> so then this happens. I said, I'm leaving. I took off. I was like, I'm going to the McDonald's. I'm going to make sure he doesn't leave the McDonald's. Right. So I take off and I go down the street, and I still have Jaden on right. uh, on the airport uh-huh. the whole time, and I pull up across the street and I'm just like, scouting, right? I said, oh, he got up. Oh, he just threw his trash away. <laughs> oh, he got up. Oh, he just grabbing another drink. Uh-huh. It. Oh no, no, he's just flipping the page on the newspaper. Right? <laughs> Scared the hell out of him. All right, he's getting up. Six fifty-five. I was like five fifty-five. I said he's getting up. And I was like, this guy's really accurate on his right, time. On his right? timing. He clearly watched his dad have Right, this happened before. He thought about this before. Yeah, and I said, okay. And then oh, a little bit later, what he told me, he was like, yeah, I should do that because my dad wouldn't let me in the house and I had to get some of my shit out. So I would just wait for him to leave and then I'd go into the house. And then That's why he changed the, that's why he changed the key. He changed the locks. Right. So he's done this previously. Right. So guy starts walking out of the McDonald's. I said, he's leaving. He's leaving. I go, where are you guys at? He goes, we're leaving. I said, well, you guys got to get out. He's leaving. I left Jaden there with the seller. Right. Right. I left Jaden there with the Why? seller. Why? No car. No way no to get car. out there. He's with the seller. <laughs> I'm in my vehicle. And I said, we guys got to go. I said, he's in his truck. He just passed the light. He's like two minutes away. Jaden was like, your guy's trying to take the trailer that's in the front yard. He's trying to hook oh, up to his God. trailer. <laughs> he's he's going to pull the RV up out of he's there, He's trying Jan. to hook up to the trailer. I said, leave it. I, you guys got to go. And... uh <laughs> They made it out just in time. Like the guy probably saw their tail lights on the way out. And he made it out just in time. They you take me. the ta- did he take the trailer? He, he made it out. Yeah. No, he, he did, did. Oh, no, I thought he took the trailer. trailer. Like I no said, way. Yeah. I said you had to leave the trailer. You <laughs> right. left the trailer. We left. We got down the street. We met up at the rendezvous, and uh, everything went good uh, as far as it could. Hey. So, so where did that? So yeah, 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 just yeah, to, so just to uh, finish that off. Yeah. Where like how did that deal? Did you assign it? Did you close? So like, we ended up. It was the the house. It was already re- demolished. Right. Uh-huh. He took. He ripped out all the carpet throughout the whole house. Um, so the demo's already done. Demo for you. was done for me. So we cashed it out, and then we we hoteled it. We cashed it out. Hotel. What did you guys make figures. on it? Six figure. So, six, so six figure deal. Six figure deal. Six figure six deal, deal. And you knew it was gonna be a six figure deal, but you had to <laughs> had your man be the black Santa Claus. I mean, that's, 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 <laughs> went through the same. Damn. You know wow. what's funny? After the we closed on it, I'm just so, oh, so, I don't so, know if he's black. I'm just, I just we, feel like that's some. We closed that on it. Nice to some black people shit. We had oh, we closed on it. We had, evic, we had to evict. We had to evict the tenant. Right? Of course. No, hold up, hold up. What did Pop say? Pop's like, yo, who is in my house? We got, we got a call. We got a phone call. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. There's somebody breaking and entering. Yeah. I'm missing tools. I'm missing, I, somebody's <laughs> so, trying to take my trailer. We, we closed on the property. <laughs> evicted the tenant. 
And then uh, the house got broken into during the process. They were uh, in the listing process. Yeah. The house uh, got broken into, spray paint everywhere. Uh, um, we ended up selling it, but yeah, I mean, hey. it was a six figure deal by any means necessary, right? You had to do what you had to oh, do. Oh man! Had I had I been able to walk, I didn't have a boot on, mm. then I, I probably just would have did that by myself. But it was a much much funner experience. With, having Jaden go through it, he was like scouting. twenty money with me. And he's bro. like twenty one years old, so he's like this is like way out of his element. He doesn't go and see properties no. like this. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, a way yeah, different yeah. element. It was, it was Hard to follow that up, but we're what's your story? Oh <laughs> man! Oh man! <laughs> I gotta use it. Oh, there's no, no bathroom breaks in this thing. No, go ahead. That's a Joe Rogan nap. <laughs> does oh. Joe Rogan not? He doesn't allow restroom breaks? No, no, he does. He's like, oh, yeah, you can go because they're like three hours. Yeah, like, like bro, the Alex Jones one was hour five hour hours. Yeah. Alex yeah, Jones has five hours? Five hour interview. Yeah. Yeah, there was five, there was, yeah five hours. Five hours. Golly. You going to do something else today, buddy? <laughs> I did. So, all right. So let's get let's get this story popping. I got I got a good one. I was thinking I was going over my escrows. I was going over the escrows. And it's, it's funny too when you start looking back at your escrows as you do more deals. You gotta understand it's kind of like um what like Kobe Bryant, right? Yeah, or like all the greats. They forget whatever victories. I mean that, yeah, that's old news. Those old yeah. championships. I got in the way about the future ones. So I forgot about a lot of these stories. But when you go and look at your close of escrows and closing so many deals. Every deal has some type of issue, some type of deal that falls apart, something that happens that just doesn't work out, and it ends up being um, very entertaining. Once you go back and you start telling the stories, like what happened, how do you found the deal, what happened to the deal, what almost fell apart on the deal, how you got the deal done, and then plus, casting the check always feels good too with it, you know? Yeah, yeah sure. for sure, for sure. So, all right, so I'm going to tell you about this deal here. Um, I, call it, uh, I call it the container boy. Uh, container boy story, all right? So, and because at the, at the office uh, during uh, at the end of the year, we, we just talked about some of the crazy stories, uh, deals that happen at the end of the day. Yo, so, so, uh, I have to give a, a seller a check. Everybody's gone. Okay, yeah, go ahead. And he's about to secure the bag. <laughs> yeah, as we say, really he got to secure the bag uh, real quick, all right? Did a price drop on him. Um, so, all right, so I'm going to tell you guys about this, uh, the container boy story, all right? The container boy. Here we go. All right, so so this deal is a city violation deal, cold call. Um, on this deal, the seller uh, has a piece of land. It's in the hood off of like 13th Avenue in Buckeye, so it's in the hood out here. Lots worth probably like 45,000, 50,000 mags. And um, he wanted forty. He wanted thirty-five to forty thousand on it. I negotiated him down to twenty thousand. He's like, "Well, if I if I accept twenty thousand, I want to meet with you. I want to meet with you." I'm like, come to my office. Cool. Come to the office. No problem. Comes to the office. So he comes to the office. But I told him to come at one. He comes at twelve. So that's like, that's like a whole hour early. Like, you're, like I'm, I'm a businessman. I'm doing other deals. What do you What do you want me to do? Is I like stop everything? I mean, I'm still doing deals. So yeah. So they they put him to wait in the um in, in my conference room. I'm in the conference room, like I'm like, hey, what, you, you're here an hour early. As soon as I get off this call, I'll get with you. So 30 minutes go by. I'm still on the phone call. I'm still closing on another deal, and I just hear like rest, ruffling of uh, my paper. Shh, and I hear like slapping on the table. Like, like what's going on in there? So. I, I'm, I'm taking all, I'm, I'm still fishing on my call and I'm about to wrap it up and I hear him say something and I hear him and I see him walk I like I walk out and I see him walk out I'm like what the heck's happening so I, I, I walk out I talk to my assistant like what happened he's like he got mad he gave me this I looked at the paper he's like no you try to steal my property from me I'm out of here he, that's what he wrote on a piece of paper for me <laughs> so I walk outside about to like try to run and stop and stop his car like yo like yo right I get out there I hear this guy to go beep beep. Right, but when he does the beep beep joint, the security joint is for his bike. He has a bike tied up to my, <laughs> to, my, uh, <laughs> to the window. He has his bike tied to the window. He has a little security so lock on you, it. You went, to, you went to stop the car. You know, I went to stop the car. I don't, know, I don't even see him. I'm like, all her beep beep. I'm like, yo, yo. I'm like, oh man, you on a bike? I'm like, yo, man. I'm like, all right, it's cool, man. I'm like, hey. What's going on? Like, like he's like, no, he's like, no, homie. There's like this. Uh, it's like um, a younger Latino gentleman, and he's probably like. 30 years old. He's like, no, nah, homie, you make me wait. I ain't with that, homie. You trying to steal my property from me? I'm like, why, why do you feel like I'm trying to steal your Damn. property? He's like, no, nah, I'm out of here. I'm like, well, hold on. So before you leave, let's talk. So no, nah, what you trying to do to me? So he pulls a knife out 
<laughs> I'm like, yo, I buy at real estate office? at my office. He pulls a knife out. I'm like, why are you like? I do real estate. I don't. I don't want to go to jail. I don't sell drugs. I sell real estate. All right. I shouldn't be dealing with this element of human being anymore. <laughs> oh my so God. my man pulls a knife. I'm like, what are you, what are you doing with that? Like, listen, like, I, like I respect you, and I, I because I respect you, I expect respect. So what do we? So let's let's start over. Let's start over. Is it okay if we start over? So I hit the restart button on him. I'm like, okay. So what do you think is happening here? Because you need to sell the property. Yes, some city, some city violation liens. At some point, you're going to lose the property or you should sell the property to me. Yeah. He's like, no, nah, man. Like You trying to steal my property? I'm like, listen, I'm not selling my property, but what you have on there, you have a container on there. What are you doing with the container? I live in it. That's my home. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. So he has a property with yeah, a container. A big ass container. And he doesn't well, live in the property. Is it like one of the freight containers? Yes, one of those freight containers. It's crazy. They make houses like But no, that. but it's not a house. Yeah. He's just like living in no 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 not, not, not in a house container. Yeah, it's one of the right. dumpsters. Oh. It's one of the dumpsters, like the big 30-foot dumpster boy that you you do the trash outs with, right? Oh my god. He's living in one of those. Wait, like no top? No top. Oh. So he's living in there. He's looking at the stars just every night. You know, a rooftop living, right? Uh, <laughs> skylight, skylight. Just so, so my man's I'm like, so like, where do you take showers? Like, I go to YMC to take showers. I'm living in that. I mean, and so where am I, like, where am I going to go and get my, where am I going to uh, place my container at? I got to move my home. I'm like, all right. And I'm like, this is what we can do. I can have, I have, I can help you participate in helping you locate another piece of land with the cash I'm going to get you because 20000 could go a long way in Tonopah. Right? It could go uh, it could go far. We could stretch that out. We could stretch that out. <laughs> far, far feeding. So chop it up with guy and then so we were talking and now, and now I got him to calm down a little bit. He put the knife away. He's talking and then so um, so like, oh, so you can help me find a property. So I'm like, so, so, but he's like, hey man, but that $20,000, no, you trying to steal the property. No, you know what? Fuck that. I ain't going to let you steal the property. So he gets on his bike. He starts riding a bike. So, so I'm like, I walk over to where the ex. I'm like, hold on a second, hold on a second, oh my hold on God. a second. It wasn't a very good bike. What, oh, what, oh, what number? What number do you want to have to make this work for you? You see my cost. You see my numbers. I want to make this work. You don't understand what's happening to me. What's happening to you? Talk to me. What's happening? Because in this, listen, when you do these deals, you go from being an ET to be a counselor to be a Tony Robbins yeah, to be, I mean, uh, the closer. You're doing a lot of different hats all in one time, right? Yeah. So uh, I go into therapy mode, right? I get my Dr. Phil on. So what's happening to you? What's what's going on? Like like off the record. And you, you use that one off the record. People think like I can open up now. Okay. Right? Cool. Like, like oh, we're yeah, gonna, no, that's a trigger word. It yeah. really does. <laughs> off the record. Off the record between me. What's going on? I mean, just level with me. He's like, oh, I'll see. They're trying to kill me, bro. Who's trying to kill you? Cause you know you gotta hop into the crazy with them. You gotta hop into the crazy <laughs> yeah, with them. You can't look. You can't look like they're crazy. That's like, oh, that's oh yeah. You hop into the that's Twilight Zone. That's, that's where the closing. That's where the closing. Yeah, absolutely, right absolutely. Yeah, I, I, listen, I, I speak. This all week. I was listen, hoping to hop in some crazy. Yeah, I, I, I speak. I speak crazy talk uh, fluently. All right. So we're well, like, who's killing you? Just uh, tell me who it is. Tell me what's going on. He's like, see what happened is I got other gang members. They're trying to shoot. They just shot my container. Shot my house. They're trying to kill me. I'm like, why are they trying to kill you? Looks around his shoulders. Like <laughs> people out here still. He says, you know the governor? Well, I saw something that the governor doesn't want me to see. Oh so, he, so he's using he's using these other gang members to kill me, make it look like it's a gang kill, a gang hit. I'm like, are you serious? I don't know what to do. I'm all out of money. They know where I live. But that's why you got to sell the property. You got to get you out of there. But the problem is, <laughs> if they end up killing you, nobody's going to know. I got a private investigator. What we need to do, we got to build evidence on the mayor. So I need you to tell him everything you know. As soon as you sign the contract, I'm gonna do a three-way call with my private investigator. And you, you, you have to you have to have a paper trail to, to corroborate the evidence. You gotta build it. If you serious this is gonna happen, you could blow the top off this, but we gotta get you in a safe place. We gotta get you out of here. You got real crazy. Oh, I, I got in. <laughs> I, 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 he's like he's like, yeah, you, you got private. Like, I got a private investigator. I got crazy. you, I'll do Damn. it. <laughs> I locked in, I locked in with them. Like, you know what? I understand. Don't let them kill you. We can't let not on my watch. You're not dying on my watch. Nope. That's so, intense, right so, there. so I locked in with him. I had him. I had him come into the office. He calmed down. He signed off on that. I, I went up two grand. I went up to. I went to twenty two thousand. Make it feel like you won. Yeah. Be willing to budge. 
Yeah. Went to twenty two thousand dollars. Can't go broke making a profit. Exactly. So he signed off on the contract. Okay. And then I did a I did a text message right there with my private investigator and everything from right there. And so I, I gave I gave him um two different lots to the, the move his container to. I got a container company I helped him set up with for three for like oh, seven hundred dollars. I have to have him move his house. <laughs> wow. and I, I got a testimonial letter from the guy. He put the knife away. He was, he was about to shank me. He was about to dip out of there. The guys were getting shot by it. By uh, he says uh, he had some. He said he had MS thirteen. Looking for him, he oh said. My God. <laughs> so, allegedly, uh, allegedly, whatever, whatever, coke you, uh, crack you're smoking. But that was definitely a crazy story, and we ended up selling for like, we we ended up selling for like thirty five thousand. So we ended up making like thirteen, twelve, thirteen thousand dollars. But that was a crazy story, crazy deal that the average person would have walked away from. Like, all right, I'm not chasing after you. And then when I see when I see the bike outside with the alarm clock, I'm definitely letting you go. And then when the guy pulls the shank and pulls the, the knife out on you, you're about to walk away. And then when they get crazy, you're talking about somebody. Try to kill me. I live in my container. Like usually, most people walk away from that. Those are the crazy stories. That is so. If you ever come across a container living um, um a homeowner, <laughs> just know now you have a story to the reference que- to. The question is, did, did you really have a private investigator? Yeah, no, no, for real. I really do. That's I really. Scary. That's the best part about it. Like I'm gonna connect them. And Who are you the stalking? <laughs> hey, wow. listen, you just listen, got listen, caught listen. up. Listen, wow. the reason why you want private investigators is because when you do probate deals, the heirs are hard to get a hold of. That's a, that's the uh, that's the correct the correct answer <laughs> politically saying, correct politically answer. Correct. So, well, well, shout out to Beyonce. Uh, shout out to Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce you, you know my PI. Honestly, no, no, no. so for me, uh, we started doing virtual deals very early. Very so we early. saved a lot of like yeah. crazy sh- mm-hmm. situations like that. But I remember early on for me, uh, Richard Evans. Tell me about oh, Richard no, Evans. Richard Evans. And we, we could both... Are we allowed to say names? I think you got to bleep them. Hey, we'll bleep oh, no, that no, out. We'll bleep that out. Actually, <laughs> actually, 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 that's his alias. That's his alias. The late Richard Evans. The late, the late oh, Richard. Sorry, he's no longer here. He's no longer here with okay. us. R.I.P. R.I.P. So, Dick. Let's call I him remember, Dick Evans. Dick. <laughs> Dick Evans. No, he, I, I mean, he did go by that. Exactly. So uh, early on, so like the first year wholesale, the first second year wholesale, we're still going on appointments. And we still, don't get me wrong, we still go on a handful of appointments, but majority is like over the phone. Over the phone virtually in... In Phoenix, and I remember this deal. It was a cold call deal, absentee list, and we called it. And uh, we we uh, we go to the guy's house, super nice house here in Lavina, Arizona, decent area. We signed the contract, and uh, the guy's a pastor, or uh, no, uh, no, the guy's. What did he do? He was, he was highly su- he was successful. He was a successful businessman. Yeah. Businessman, all right. And uh, but he was, he was going through cancer. Oh, okay. okay. So very delicate situation. We get the contract signed. The guy has four sisters. Three, four sisters. They live in in Missouri and Kansas, and all over the place. And uh, but I remember, it was it wasn't more of like the seller being crazy. It was more of the situation. Mm, okay. And the situation was, uh, this was a house in South Phoenix, which I still I still own uh, because the the house is clouded. I've owned like it's under my name for like three years. Uh, but the situation was there. This was a. Uh, the, the crack street. It wasn't a crack house. It was a crack, yeah, crack street. street. The whole street. It's a trap house. It's a, it's it's a, a trap, trap house. house. Oh, a, man. That's a trap story. Good. They just remind me another one. Say, top, nice, nice. Top. Yeah. Top one scariest appointment. Top one scariest appointment. <laughs> bro. I love crack bro, stories. Crack street. Across the street and all over the place. And uh, we, we go, uh, I think Andy went first to the house. Oh, dude! And <laughs> he, it was it was crazy. But when I went, I remember uh, we went and we drove there and we we got off. There is about thirty to forty thugs, crackheads, <laughs> all, in like around the house the on property, that street, on, right. the property, on the property, on the street. The neighbors too. The the neighbors' house is the same situation. Right. As Absolutely, ours, the so. whole block is cracked. The crack whole central. crack street. So we we get off and. I'm in tucked in shirt, home equity pro shirt. Like we're all <laughs> no, yeah, eighteen bro. year old hair entrepreneur. Hair hair no, bro. <laughs> and bro, lost I, have, man, I bro. have never felt so unsure if I was gonna live <laughs> the next day. Life. <laughs> I'm telling you, like just it was just it was like one of the, like I got off the car. We had to walk the house and take. Yeah, that, yeah hey, that's the difference. Like, of making money or not? So money then, on it. so okay, so Richard, Richard, Dick, Dick Evans. Uh, owner of the house, uh, his brother, um, which he went just down a wrong path. He lived at the property. We walk into the property, one of the most just disgusting, disgusting. property. Oh. I mean, sh- shit on the walls, I swear. Like, Dang. like, uh, people, you know, shooting, uh, shooting like drugs shooting into their arms. Um, and shooting. <laughs> <laughs> shooting while shooting. I mean, like, people walking out with like 
grocery carts of I don't know what. Pretty like, just, sure you like, should have grocery bro, carts in the house. I'm pretty it's sure. pretty bad. Like super bad situation. <laughs> and then uh, have locks <laughs> it, it was just one of those situations where like you, you just you realize that like real estate is like it's not always so safe. Right. This is this is what the so, gurus like, they talking they about. This isn't what they right. They don't, they don't, no, no, the gurus no, don't no. tell you. You don't see so, these on the IG stories. They don't tell you to not wear white shoes at a so, walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's one of those situations. And, and I remember there was one case where uh, they, the guy scored up with you. Oh, that was a crazy. That was a crazy deal. They're yeah. they're at the house. No, I'm t- hold, on, hold on. That was a different crack. That's house. A, that's a different crack oh, house. But you missed no, 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 you missed no, the crack no, story. No, there was, there was, and they were on the same street. <laughs> I think they were on the same street. <laughs> yeah, they were on the same yeah, street. Crazy. Man, you 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 mailed the whole street. <laughs> but actually, yeah, funny story about funny story about when we walked that property initially. So I was the first one to show up, and then uh, this he's like after we got like, the contract, bro, he calls you know, me. He calls me, bro. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. <laughs> bro, okay. Bro. Okay, look. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't get off. No, bro, he's like, I'm not getting off the car, bro. <laughs> bro, it was bad. Bro, it was so... I, like, I showed up oh. like, oh, macho man. Like, bro, you're tripping. Bro, it was a scary oh, shit. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's that's like the not so pretty time. Uh, the, the pretty thing about real estate. I've done that a few times where I'm like, bro, I'm not getting off this time. Like, I'm just not getting off. You're like, come on, stop being... Stop being stop a like, pussy, bro. Just, just do I'm, like, I'm like, fuck it up. I'm going in there. <laughs> but, but like, I always need to call and complain. Right? Yeah, just in case, just in case, that was a real it's, conversation. It's, it's just, the, just, it, yeah. time just make sure, just make sure, time time save it. Excuse me, Mister Signs. When was the last time you spoke to Andy Garcia? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, like it's been Before like, that. bro. There's been a few times. But, when, but funny thing about this one, so the first time I walked it, I showed up, and then I'm like, no, no way it can be that house. Like, it can't be that bad. <laughs> like, there's, you know, like, that cannot be our house. Like, our seller was a sophisticated dude. This yeah, is not bro, his property. Super, like, he didn't, he didn't. I think it, he was a doctor, We bro, had like, just started, so we didn't really get all the right information. We didn't know what, like, the condition was, the square footage, what nothing. the situation was. It was a deal. It was a deal. <laughs> was exactly. That's all we know. But I show up, and the day I show up, there's, you know, it's 30 to 40 thugs within our property and then the neighbors. Damn. And it's maybe like 12 o'clock. Bro. They're all drinking. Oof. They're drinking 12 Bud o'clock Light. in the afternoon. Oof. In the Ooh. afternoon. Yeah, they're drinking, they're, they're drinking. They're drinking. Keystones and Bud Lights, bro. That's the <laughs> Just worst like that. Oh. Keystones. Yeah. Trap house, man. That's a real, that's but, a real strong. Yeah, so th- so then I, I go up and then there's there's some ladies sitting in the porch and I'm just like, hey, and the brother had no normal name. I'm like, hey, is, is Samuel avail- Is he around? I'm like, who, <laughs> who is Samuel? Who, I don't know you, homie. I'm, th- I'm like, so you sure? I'm like, yeah, Richard Evans? Do you guys know Evans? Evans? Oh, you mean Skippy or something? I was like, <laughs> yeah, what? Skippy. Yeah, but Damn Skippy. Skippy. Damn Skippy is Skippy. I was like, I was like, uh, Skippy. I'm like, um, uh, yeah, take me to him. And then, <laughs> take me to your leader. And then, and then, he had a receptionist at his crack house. Yeah, receptionist came out. Hold on, this is like where it gets fucked up because she takes me to the door, and then she's like, "Hey, what's your name?" Like she didn't even know his name, but she was like hanging out drinking at his house. And then yeah. he's like, oh, my name's Samuel or whatever. And then, like, he's casual. There's, like, piles of shit everywhere. And then, it's like, he's just situation. sitting in a lawn chair next to his, his like, it was it was a big old dog. It was a scary dog. And he had him on a leash. <laughs> and his dog's, like, growling at me. Like, yeah, and I'm just like, oh, my God, I need to get out of here. But crazy, crazy situation. So no, what did you uh, do? So what did you do? Bro, We, I, I, I'm not going to lie, bro. I, I ain't going <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm not. I ain't gonna act tough, <laughs> no, bro. No. <laughs> I, we went in there, took our pictures, called the cops, oh! called the cops, and then we put a we put a um, the on trespass, no trespassing, and then they cleared everybody out. But it, it was a bad situation, you know. And we had a it was a twenty six thousand dollars assignment, mm-hmm. and uh, unfortunately, Mr. Dick Evans, he 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 passed away during that escrow process. Um, but it was also like one of those, you just had to be super resourceful. I'm sending, um, faxes to like this, it's called Hay House in, in the Midwest. It's like a, I don't know if it's like a fries or like a convenience store where they have fax, but I'm over here getting, we're getting signatures. We assigned it, dealing with tenants and like, you know, Mr. Dick, uh, Evans passed away. And, um, but it was just one of those situations where it's like, and honestly, this was when we first started real estate. So a 26,000 assignment. That means a it lot. Was huge. That was that's a hundred thousand. That's a hundred grand right there for you. That's that that game. So like yeah, even yeah. even like after a few deals closed, like you know like you're starting you're trying to start your business in twenty six k and it just falls through. And one of the most unfortunate situations. Yeah. But I remember like I remember that that's when I realized that real estate was like it wasn't just sign here and right. sign there. Right. It's way more than it's that. Like, there's it was like a so, hunt. It was, the human dynamics. There's a hunt was. and there was, I mean, my adrenaline. Problems, I'm man. telling you, like, I walked, like, I drove in the property. I, I drove in the Dodge Charger. Like, so it, it was a good looking car. Mm. I, I immediately felt like the attention the and fear. The eyes are on you, yeah. Didn't, didn't one of our, our prospective buyers get assaulted? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, he got, he got like, bro, like, <laughs> no, like he showed up. From what I hear, that he showed no, he, up and and uh, uh, they, they just they just threatened him. No, they, him they, he, they they uh, they pull out a knife on him. He he went to go uh, change. Was that the locks. container boy? <laughs> no, 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 no. Speaking of no, <laughs> so, yeah, chilling. the guy the guy went to change the locks and he got a knife pulled out of him. He's like, I ain't buying this house. Damn. Damn. So, but uh, yeah, like that. And so, honestly. So do you guys? What did you guys end up doing the deal? Do you guys get a hold of the heirs to try to sell sell the property? Yes, uh, we got all <coughs> signatures, but one guy's, and that was the son who lived there. No, the no, he actually the the guy that lived there, the brother. No, the, the, that was the brother of the seller. He uh-huh. uh, they they took him to a care home, um, uh-huh. and uh, yeah, but cool. the brother. Uh-huh. So when the 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 father passed away, Mister Richard. Um, the the interest or uh, the, all the heirs the heirs mm-hmm. get it so there was uh, there was like three three of his daughters or, uh-huh. or, and then one son three daughters signed off nice her sister signed off and there was one signature that we haven't got what did he say no uh no he didn't he just didn't want to sell he did, to this day he I don't know if there's like about the right what's that address what's that address no we have uh, we have uh, we a have memorandum, memorandum on it memorandum on it um but yeah it's one of those deals where it's like. So for, for a lot the, of lessons, yeah, for and sure. for the future, that happened, like you could did a partition action. You say you did partition yeah. action, and, and it, it forced them to sell. Mm-hmm. And, and if they don't sell, because other you got, you got the other three signatures, forced a partition action, and that would force the the son. If he didn't sell, the courts were mandated that they sell, and it took the um, the attorney fees out of his portion. And this was like early. I know also, you guys like, oh, started. I didn't know, I was, I didn't know I any of that. Bro, yeah, like, didn't that's know. crazy. I, you did all that just not to get paid. I knew, oh, man. I knew how to. I knew we knew how to get a purchase agreement. We knew how to open escrow. We knew how to assign it. And you need to take we, pictures. That's and it. Picture, like <laughs> that's the it. basics that's of it. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, with the basics, you can still make a lot of money. So that's not to discourage you. But over the years, you do learn. Partition action, things, all yeah. this stuff. Yeah, yeah you don't become an expert overnight. This is something you're going to transition to through experience, yeah. doing more deals. And uh, I think I know what story you're oh. going to talk about. Oh, I hope it, I hope I know I, it's. I, I know. Hope. I know you guys want me to talk about that one. Oh, too. It's bro, so you good. had it so good. good. The Adam. So one, um, you know, I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm going to start by saying I actually like the appointment got so weird that I passed. We passed on the deal. Like I had to walk <laughs> out because it was just such a weird and uncomfortable oh situation that. I just I just couldn't like I just couldn't stand in the in, in their house so Quick I walked out. Note, me and Andy work on two different companies and we just had our first seller appointment weekend. Oh, we did, you which is very entertaining. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, what does that mean? They went to Vegas. We went to Vegas, we went to, Vegas to lock up those deals. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Andy was with me. I that had a was, couple appointments. It was very entertaining for a later date. See, yeah, yeah. A, few, a future episodes. <laughs> future episodes. Which, yeah, yeah. I didn't think that would happen. You know. Yeah, I didn't think weird. So. Oh. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Well, okay. thanks, guys. Okay. Thanks, thanks, I guys. know nothing about what's going on. <laughs> this is like, just like, uh, you know, you can expect us to get off topic, right? Right. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, I think down. this is one of those moments. Hey, go left field on them sometimes. No, no I'm just kidding. Okay, so <laughs> okay. transitioning. Okay. Uh, going back to uh, the story. So, uh, it's, so, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, Get Out. Oh yeah, yeah right. Um, you know, homeboy goes to his his girl's family's house and gets you know and gets brainwashed. There's other brainwashed people there, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And, and um, I've never seen it, but I know the concept. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a you should watch it. It's a good movie. Go watch that movie. <laughs> but okay, I feel like so, I'm watching it right now. So, so right. at the time, so at the time, my brother was carpooling with me, and it's late in the evening. You know, I, I you know I'm grinding until eight p.m. I'm making phone calls until eight p.m. Uh-huh, you know, that work single day because it's just that one person you just got to talk to one person who's going to tell you yes and then bam you have a deal so what what do you know you know uh, i i attracted that deal i get someone to tell me yes let's do it uh you know come get this uh this contract uh, inked up and done and you know we we have a deal so i'm like great it's 8 p.m uh to give you a little background on the house it's it's in a very very rural area so it's in buckeye like deep in buckeye wow so no man's so there's land. no street lights there's it's all dirt road we're super far out we're like 30 minutes into buckeye wow it's crazy so which is that, like what 45 so, so an hour yeah, out of out, out of town. the city yeah. exactly yeah. exactly it was, it was like, like an hour it was, it was like an hour drive like no sure. reception no reception zone <laughs> no it was dark it was completely dark farmland farmland yeah and then, and then, like I just watched that movie Get Out with my brother. And then we're, <laughs> we're on the way. We're on the Sons way. of the corn. <laughs> we're on the way. He's like, "Damn, this is like some Get Out shit. Where the fuck are we going?" I'm like, "I'm like, bro, just it's." Are you put the anchor in your mind? Are you put the anchor in so, your mind? So I walk in. So I walk in. And so one, we get there, and my brother's in the car. He's super anxious. I'm like, "If you hear," I was like, "If I if I text you anything at all, just know you got to run in the house because it's, it's sketchy." Like I get there, you know, I'm a little, you know, I, I, you know, big guys get scared too. You know? <laughs> come on, come on. 
Hey, he give a hot. He so, give it a buck. He so, give it a buck with y'all. So same, so same situation. I'm sitting there with my brother. I'm like, damn, this shit's kind of scary. I'm not even gonna lie. Like the the walkway to the house is like uh, maybe like you know two tenths of a mile. So it's kind of you know like damn. This is got like, this shit's far. Yeah, it's on a big lot. Want right? to make sure you can't get away. Get back to your car. So, we're, so I'm, maybe I, that's a little over exaggerated, but it's far. Okay, in my mind, exactly, it's super far. And it's I walk dark. up. Yeah, I walk up and then I knock on the door. And then I hear like this, you know, not to not, you know, no disrespect, but the, the, you know, they're both like mentally not there. Okay. You know, uh, Ment mentally departed. Yeah. Mentally yeah. departed. All right. That's what, the, yeah. you know, retarded, uh, <laughs> you know, that's not politically correct. <laughs> no, yeah, but, okay. Okay. But, so, so they're not there with us. And then, you know, I knock on the door and then the guy's like, who is it? He's like, he just yells. He doesn't have like a, a tone of voice. He just yells. Right. Who is it? And then I'm like, uh, Danny, I just talked to you guys. You know, let me in. He's like, who? <laughs> let me and then, in. And he's like, who is it? And he just keeps yelling. I'm like, who? I'm like, come on, dude. Like, come on. So he finally opens the door. He lets me in. I show him the agreement. He's like, yeah, come in, come in. So I walk in. Everything's kind of sketchy. And then his wife, wearing a creepy-ass <laughs> nightgown, you know, just like white overall nightgown. She comes out. And she's, oh she God. looks like a little less, you know. You know, she doesn't look like a. He's, a, he's a smarter one. He's the smarter one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's the one screaming at the door. Not All right. to discriminate, you know. So, so yeah. So he's the smart one, and and um, you know, he's like, come this way. So he starts like, you know, I'm like, I'm com comfortable here by the door, you know, like because it's <laughs> just like better lighting by the door. You know, his, to his tone was like, it was weird. It was like, ah, like he just like groaned. <laughs> yeah. So I was kind of, I was kind of freaked out by the whole thing. Uh, I was kind of freaked out, and and then bam, then wifey walks out. And like for no reason, she's like she's looking for something. She's opening cabinets. She's opening. She's opening drawers. And I'm like, like, dude, she's good. Like, you know, she has to sign too. Like, you know. And then <laughs> what do you mean? Well, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you mean she's opening cabinets and doors? What does okay, that mean? So, she's looking so, for a pen. So she's looking for okay, a pen so, to sign oh, with. All right, so let's get, <laughs> so I missed something. Yeah. By this time, I'm walking. He he he's telling me to go to the kitchen table. But it's weird because like a seller usually doesn't tell you, hey, go to the kitchen table. You're like, all right, you walk around, you start taking a look right. around. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Just, yeah, this is the place to sit down. Right. Exactly. That's how it usually goes. But he's like, go to the kitchen table. I'm like, for what? Me? Are you gonna eat me today? Like, I haven't even taken pictures yet. Like I haven't even taken pictures. He has a trap waiting there for you. Yeah, exactly. So he's like, go to and the kitchen's all the way in the back. Like from the front door, it's open, but the kitchen's all the way in the back. So I'm like, damn. So I go over there. I'm, he's like luring me over there. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, Lord of hold on. And then all of a sudden, wife, wifey again. She pops up out of nowhere, starts looking through every single kitchen cabinet, drawer, pantry, like she's looking for something. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, fuck, she's gonna kill me. She, she has, <laughs> I'm like, she has a gun. She's right, she's, she's, she's looking for oh, something, right? Go to machete. So so I'm I'm kind of freaking out. You know, I'm kind of taking a step back. I'm being a little more precautious. And he's like, where are you going? I'm like, nowhere, nowhere. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to look at to his the angle of the table. house. Like, <laughs> and then, well, yeah, sit down. Take your shirt and then, off. Then it gets weirder. And she like, and by the way, she made like this weird sound like, eh. She, there, she's moaning. Like, so the yeah, moaning about yeah, the she can't talk. She, she's not very, no good speech. Okay, okay. So, uh, you know, she starts walking in circles around me. Like on some weird shit, like just starts walking in circles around me, and What's then the, the husband, husband the husband is yelling again. I, I, you know, I'm not emphasizing on this, but the husband yells. <laughs> like, was sound. it random it's yells? Like, Andy, and like it was super <laughs> creepy. It was did, super it, did it feel like you were being hounded by prey, or did it feel like a breakdance oh battle was about God. to start? Not a breakdown. No, <laughs> no, 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 she kept, he, she was walking around in circles around me. And then finally, like, this is all while, like, you know, I went from, and it was funny because at one point we actually got to the kitchen table. I sat down and then I stood back up and I looked at the door. I'm like, damn, I need to make a run for it. <laughs> damn. <laughs> so what did you so, do? So I do that. So I Yo. stand up. So you make a run. Yeah, I, I make a run for it. So I stand up a little Birkin bit. Birkenstocks or no Birkenstocks? No, no, shoes. Shoes. Oh, okay. Hey, he knew. Yeah, he knew. Then, and then, uh, yeah, so I, uh, you know, I started making, and I'm walking him through the agreement as I'm walking back. So I'm like, yeah, you know, let's just keep looking. <laughs> and then finally I get like within a close distance where I'm like, all right, he won't catch me here. So, so I just freaking like, I just like, all right, got to go. Bye. And I just take off. 
And then, like, I run to my car. I'm like, <laughs> so is there a house in Buckeye with an agreement with half of a signature on there? No, I took it with me. Oh, okay. uh, I thought you just left it. And, like, yeah, it was a cartoon. No, but like, I just, like, to me. it was just super creepy. Like, no one's, you're not supposed to do that, you know? Like, you're not supposed to just. I remember he called me, what? and he, it was just like. I was like, I need a company gun. I'm like. <laughs> I need a company gun. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I don't care if it's a stripper gun. <laughs> just give me one of them. Bro, I was, wow. I was like, whoa, 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 what that happened? That was a creepy moment, though. Like, oh I'm my God. like, you know, I don't know if you guys like, I can like can understand like what really happened, but it was just so scary and unusual. It was, it was an actual fear for your life. It was an actual fear, like damn, like these people are really weird. Like they're they could do some shit. So and now you think so about I just it. like and, I just and, without even thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, we got much more deals to chase. Yeah, I, I saw my podio earlier today. I got some more in discoveries. Yeah, I got, I'll let this I got one some go. more in the pipeline. <laughs> I'm gonna head out. <laughs> going going through all these stories. Uh, I'm sure it just brings oh. more and more oh, so many of them right? now. More, and more stories, which is why we're gonna do a couple more episodes. Right, that's why right. yeah, this is so dope. Episode one. So yep. this is episode one, very entertaining, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Real quick, I, I, uh, I, for this episode, I think they should hear the, uh, the. The the what was it the parakeet what is it the oh uh, wow, like the just macaw. real quick the, no, the no, macaw. you can't you can't come on you, can. you, you gotta can. end it you got <laughs> one each because if he goes no you right. gotta you gotta end it with that <laughs> all right who's vote vote it's bro I I think they I think they want to see it yeah, of like, course I, they do I already mentioned it <laughs> all right I'll keep yeah, it I'll, I'll, keep, so I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep it I'll keep it I'll keep it short I'll keep it I keep it short I keep it short man you know I wish I could have um the patriot because the patriot that's why you you're cutting a lot you're doing him a disservice we got we got to end this this video with the with the bang with the bang all right so um fire damage property what was almost still got taken out right so it's a fire damage property in San Diego. And um, at the fire damage property, um, man, missed on this one. I missed on this one. Either which way. Fire damage property, duplex. I go and see the property. Uh, I'm talking to the seller. I mean, he's like, yeah, come and see the property. Super, very aggressive. Uh, was a rich kid his whole life. His dad had money, so he lives at the property. He caught on fire. He's negotiating yeah. with this other attorney whatnot. I'm like, well, I'm going to come by and see the property. No, don't come and see the property. I'm like, all right, yeah. well, all right, maybe I won't. I end up going down there in San Diego, so I'm like, let me go and check out the property. So I go to the property, and I, I give him a call. Like, I'm in town. He forgot who I was. He's like, yeah, yeah, come on by and see the property. I'm like, cool, let me see the property. And so I start doing a walk with him. He has this bird called a macaw. You know what a macaw, macaw. bird, right? Macaw. Yeah, yeah. Like they, they speak back to you, right? Is that like yeah, the, fr yeah. the Fruit Loops one? Yeah, the Fruit Loops, like the fruit, no, like no, toucan no, sand bird. It's a toucan. toucan, but that's what like macaw is. That's what a macaw is. It's, a toucan. it's like a toucan sand joint. And he can talk back to you. So... He's talking with the uh, so well, he has the McCall bird. I'm like, all right, cool. He's maybe he's a bird lover, all right? Oh, so <laughs> shirt, shirt off, shirt off. I mean, he's just oh, uh, so it's a and, and I had my team with me. I had my team because we're in San Diego. Like, let's stop at this property. It's a fire damage deal, beachfront property, cool. So I'm talking about the property, like, hey, I want to buy the property. These are the numbers. I talk with the other attorney you're in you're in lawsuit with. Okay. Uh, he'll let me buy the property if you're not involved in it. And you just sell the property, be done with it. He's like, what number are you talking about? And he went like $1.1 $1 for a burnt structure. I'm like, no, it's going to be like six, seven hundred thousand. He's like, no, no, you, you need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. I'm like, hold on a second. Hold on a second. He's like screaming at me. I'm like, hold on a second. I'm, I'm here to buy the property. We need to talk about the property. What if I could go up? What if I go up to 800000 for you? Go up to 800000 He said, 800000 Looks at the bird. Looks at the bird and says, what do you think we should do? <laughs> should should, should oh we do it? <laughs> do you do you laugh? Do you talk to the bird? What do you do? You look at him like, damn. He looks at the bird. What should we do? Should we do it? And so the bird starts licking itself. So he starts licking the bird. And what I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh or should I just chill out. So I just, so I just chill out. Or you start licking the bird. <laughs> <laughs> licking the bird with him. I'm, just, so I'm being cool. I'm being cool with it. He's like, no, that's still too low. That's way too low. I, I can't do it. I need you to go. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not gonna go. We need to talk about the property. You don't want me to go. We should start. I want you to leave. I mean, now he got veins in his neck, and so my team's kind of looking. What's a the scared. bird doing? Chill. The bird, the bird's just chilling on his arms, right? So it, it, my team is like like walking outside like they're like this guy could get violent. I don't know what's going on. He doesn't look all stable there. So I'm walking around and I'm, I'm talking with him. Don't want to leave just yet. And I look to the corner of my eye and I see my man. He has a sleeping bag in the back down in, in like back in the like laundry room. It's like a little sleeping bag, little little light tavern, little hang light. So I'm like, um, did the HOA company knows you're sleeping back here? He's like, oh man. Don't tell anybody. Don't don't tell anybody oh, about this. God. Don't tell anybody about this. I'm like, listen, talk to the bird, ask him, if, <laughs> <laughs> ask him if, if you if you cool to sell the property to me. 
I, hey, if you sell the property to me, it'd be our little secret. I'll let you stay here another three, four months. You can stay, you can stay in there. Long story short, my man ends up getting back with me. He said, yeah, I'll sell the property. I talked with the bird. <laughs> I'll sell the oh property. You want a million dollars for the burn structure? I'm like, I'm not paying a million dollars. I go back two years later, two years later. Somebody else bought the property, paid $1.2 million for both of the barn structures, turned to Airbnb, making crazy bread after it. So I should have took the offer. I should have listened to the damn Toucan Sam bird. Damn, and you, I should have licked the bird. That's what I should have did. I should have licked the bird. So if you. they ever have birds and you're talking to the birds, all right, <laughs> oh it, it makes it so much different. It's definitely <laughs> unique. Yes, and I think this is what makes it. But this is what makes the story so dope. Just when hearing your crack story, I have like three other crack stories yeah. that happen. Hearing your story about almost dying at a property, like oh, I, I almost had a couple. I may or may not have delivered a check right now to a crackhead. Hey, hey! <laughs> it is eight thirty on a Friday night, and I need and I need a cash reduction. <laughs> Great deal, though. Great deal. Great deal. Yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Necessary, right? That was I a, think that's that was the. A, ul- I think ultimately, like whether you you get the deal or you don't get the deal, it's like. How much are you willing to sacrifice, to be honest? Because let's be honest, yeah. you guys sacrificed your lives, right? Walking oh, yeah. into that property. Yeah. But why? It's because you wanted to be successful. You had to make you got to make That's an shit amount happen. of sacrifice. Yeah. Somebody could have yeah. easily said, there's all that many that many people walking. Nah, I'm nah. good. There's another one. That wit mentality, <laughs> right. whatever it takes. I will say this. It is a... Uh, it it is as if it can be as efficient done right to vir- uh, to wholesale virtually, and yeah. we've like I believe we have <laughs> saved safer. a lot of headache and We're and safer. have been a lot more effective and safer by wholesaling virtually, and uh, you know I, I think if we I've keep never it, had a gun yeah. pulled out on me over the phone. Yeah, good point. Good point. Good <laughs> and point. If, and, if, and if they did, and if they did, <laughs> I would hang up. It could have shot me. It could have shot me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, with that said, uh, I think. Uh, I mean, this is episode one. Yep. You know, let it, guys. I'm like, I like. I want you guys to let us know. You know, if you have any crazy stories, um, you know, comment down below on some crazy stories that you do have. We're gonna be yeah. reading all of them. We got much more. Uh, we'll bring on. We'll bring on Carlos. We'll bring on other closers. Other closers. About yeah. deals to take. And uh, we got. We got a lot to talk about. So. Even I non closers that uh, went to appointments. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The deals so, that fall apart. Real quick, I want to do something before we head off. Uh, 30 seconds, and actually keep it 30 <laughs> seconds. Just close your remarks on your end on on anything. anything. Anything in mind that you would like to share? Where's the motivation or just any lesson or anything that you would like so to hear? So one thing, one thing and, I, and I mentioned this sometimes. Uh, you guys have heard me say it. It's, and that, that's the fact that, you know, growing up and when I was in high school and I was a teenager and I had this vision of, you know, playing collegiate level sports, you know, I wanted to be a lawyer for some time. I wanted to be a teacher at some point. Like, I didn't think I would be here. Right. I didn't think I would not like in an arrogant way, but I just didn't think, you know, what I'd be doing right now was the way my life was going to play out. Yeah. Uh, And obviously there's much more living to do. But with that said, I didn't know that if I got good at sales that I could succeed, Um, you know, because you're never, ever told, you know, go be a salesman, go sharpen this skill. The school system doesn't tell you, you know, become a master of closing. Because uh, everybody that's successful has closed someone at one point or another, whether you're your music artist who closed another music artist on signing you. That's right. You know, whether yep. you're, you know, a, a real estate entrepreneur who, you know, closed somebody else to fund projects for you. Like, you know, closing is a lifestyle. It's and universal. This is what yeah. we're vested into. Right. And this is what we love. Daily. Eat, sleep and breathe. So, you know, that's, you know, Wolf of Closing's uh, closing remarks right there. Nice. Beautiful. OK. OK. okay. Um. I mean, we're all born closers at the end of the day. Oh, Ooh, let's go. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. What's your IG? What, what's your IG? Oh, born closer. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, I was fired. We're, we're, was all, we're, all, we're all born closers. We're all born closers. I mean, See, um, bro, I don't want to interrupt you, but he said, I have the ability to be witty. And he just yeah, did right, it. Right. He just you did it. it. Off the cuff. Off, off the, the cuff. cuff. Yeah. We're all born closers. I mean, my, my son's four years old. You have you have a daughter. An eight-year-old. Right? Shout yeah. out to so-so. And what, from, from day one, they always cry. They, not even with speech. They're crying. Then you know they want the bottle. Closing. Yeah. Closing. They're hungry, right? Even when they get a little bit older when they start. And they, they start with the why questions. Why? 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 And you just start spilling up. Reverse it. Why? Reverse it. Reverse it. Reverse it. Reverse it. Hey, Dad, we're going to the park today, right? right? <laughs> yeah, tie it out. Yeah. yeah <laughs> tie it out. So we're all born closers, man. But the, the hardest thing to do is to continuously and uh, consistently be that closer. And you're going to run into these struggles, right? Where you feel like you're not that person anymore. The only thing you have to do in that situation is just to continue to do what worked for you 
don't change anything and try to push through it because a real closer is going to push through by any means necessary. They're going to, uh, it's just like shoot or shoot, right? How yeah. do you shoot out of a suit? Keep shooting. How do you get out of a, a, a shooting slump? Keep you shooting. keep shooting, mm-hmm. right? That's right? And so that's what you have to do. You have to keep going for that close. And that's one of the hardest wow. things that I've learned in my small sales sales journey, time, journey yeah. is that in order for you to get to that elite level, like when it when when you're down here and you feel like not, you're not, there's no ability, like maybe everything that you just did was all luck then just keep doing it 10 times more. And guess what? It's going to be, it's going to, you're going to come out on top at the end of the day. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well said. That's fire. That's fire. Heat. 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 (laughs) Torch. Hit that fire button. Hit the fire button. Well, all right, sir. Well, let me get my 30 second nap, my game in. All right. (laughs) No, what what do they say? um, When, what do they say? When preparation opportunity collides, that's when you could create your own luck. Right. Right. I see. Mm. So being prepared, I mean, preparation, and uh, perception creates your success. So the more you prepare, like how you prepare in private will determine if you'll be praised in public. And so how when you're doing your role playing, when you're working on yourself, when those times when you doubt yourself, and you're not sure if this works, you're not sure if I'm really cut out for this, being able to go within and understand the difference between your identity versus role. Right, so yeah, you might be a role at at work right now where you're you're starting at a company or you start off wholesaling, or you might be a manager and you just might not be doing well. But understand, your identity should never be attached to your role. Who you are as a person, if you're a natural born closer, or if you're not even closer yet, but you just know you're a person of value. When you keep your identity at an eight or higher, regardless of what role you're playing in life, that your your role should not determine to your identity. And so if I could at least allow you guys to see, because we've all been in slumps, we've all been in a place where life was going on a downturn, and be able to believe that, hey, I'm still valuable regardless of what role I'm playing. And so if I could share, if I share anything with you guys today, <clears throat> yeah, make sure you do everything in your place to prepare in private. Remind yourself, create evidence. What, what it say, remind yourself, nobody's built like you. You design yourself. And because you design yourself, you're able to have true wealth because you know your true value. So identity high, regardless of what role you play, and you will succeed every day. Let's go. Let's go. That's right. All right, let's. Dan, do, we, do we end it there? Because I, no, no, I, I, I don't know how I'm going to follow on, up with you. Come on, man. Y'all. Tell me some gems. No, nah, so, uh, I mean, you, got, you guys hit it all on the nail. But I, I guess the only thing that comes to heart right now is um, don't. Like, for me personally, like, uh, for a lot of you guys watching that may be going through the struggle right now, maybe trying to find find out whether real estate is a, is a way or maybe just trying to find out what vehicle you're going to, you're gonna you know, go into to change your family's life or your circumstance. My message to you today is don't wait for the pain. You know, don't mm. don't wait for the pain to, to make that change. Mm. You know, uh, Joe Dispenza, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Shout out to Dr. Joe. Someone I greatly admire says... You can learn in a place of joy and inspiration, or you can learn in a place of uh, <laughs> of, uh, of pain and suffering. Yep, hiccup. So you let me repeat that again. So you, you can you can choose, and uh, see the key is we can choose. Yes, yeah. we your can choice. choose. We can choose to be present. We can choose to be happy. We can choose to get the momentum to you know get good at real estate we can choose to get good at closing we can choose we have that we have that natural god-given gift to be able to choose you can choose, yep. to you can choose. To that door you can choose to by clinch your, you, can, <laughs> <laughs> right. you can choose to clench your hands and move your feet you're creating and create mm-hmm. so with that said like choosing is one of god's greatest gifts for us mm. and that gives us ability to create yeah so with that said you can choose to learn to improve, to build in a place of joy and inspiration, or you can choose to create in a, in a place of, of uh, pain and suffering. And for me, don't wait till that you know. Don't wait for the pain to, to move you. You don't don't wait for the the pain to get you up and going and get you out of bed. Like nice. learn and 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 learn. I mean, it's crazy. People don't people don't change or take action until the pain is big enough. But mm. if you can be aware that you have a choice. Yep. To learn right now, right now, with no pain, no suffering, just joy and inspiration, that's the key. And right now, where I feel like we're all headed is uh, is is that is that choice. You know, we're not we're not choosing. You know, we're not getting up every single day, coming to the office, feeling like 
I'm just going to wait till somebody yells at me to do my job or I'm just going to wait for my my mm-hmm. pipeline to 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 dry up for me to get motivated to start creating revenue for mm-hmm, the company like mm-hmm. so now it's like now when you're creating in a place of joy and inspiration and being happy to me like if I would paint it in a picture it's like swimming with the current right mm-hmm. and when you're swimming with the current it's, it's it's shit is it's effortless. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, you're you're in flow. You're 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 moving with the flow, and like everything is just flawless in life. Bars. Versus mm-hmm. when pain and suffering, oh, you're fighting. You're Resistance. fighting that current. Mm-hmm. You're, you're gonna get tired. You're gonna get beat, and eventually you're gonna give up. Yeah. So that's my message. Learn the place of joy and inspiration. And with that said, guys, we'll see you on the next episode. Peace. Salute. Later. Closers out.